Uh, what is up, Eagle fans? This is boy David Box, and I'm coming at you guys with the the recent accusations by Shady McCoy that says our head coach Chip Kelly is a racist. Now he didn't literally come out and say it, but his comments implied it. And if you don't know what the comments are, then you can check that out on NFL.com. I honestly think that this is ridiculous. I don't think that Chip Kelly is a racist. I think anyone that calls Chip Kelly a racist is in fact ignorant as complete as can be. But let's just skip ahead. Both LaShawn McCoy, Stephen A. Smith from First Take have said, pretty much implied that Chip Kelly is a racist whether they just come out and say it or not. It, the way they're saying it is just a class, classful way to say it. You know, they're not just coming out and just saying it. But... Let's look at the facts. If if Chip Kelly is a racist, why on earth was his five out of six picks in the NFL draft black players? If he's so racist, why did more than 75% of the people that he signed this offseason are all, you guessed it, black? If Chip Kelly is a racist, why is all that true? Just saying, Byron Maxwell, black. Okay, well, if he's racist, I guess he should be going. I guess that he should have been, he shouldn't have been signed. Same with DeMarco. Well, I guess he should, he should just drop Jason Peters too, right? All of this shit that you guys are saying is ignorant. It just happens the people that he is dropping are black. That is the only, it's a, it's a coincidence. Now, when you look at a skill standpoint, dropping Deshaun Jackson. Dropping uh, Jeremy Macklin, dropping LaShawn McCoy. If if you looked at that from a skill standpoint, it seems insane. But when you look at that from a locker room perspective, it's a whole different damn thing. LaShawn McCoy is a party animal, okay? He was more f focused on himself and partying than he was on football. Clearly. And LaShawn Jackson with this whole gang affiliation thing. You gotta understand that this is just not from a skill standpoint. This is the NFL. True. It's what you do on the field that defines you, but it's what you do outside that defines you as well. I think getting rid of LeSean McCoy was a smart move now. Now that I see it. Now that I see all the bitterness that are coming off all the people he released except for Jeremy Macklin. Jeremy Macklin is the only one who has been humble throughout this entire thing and not said a word. Because he sees the fools and the asses of themselves that both Jeremy Mac I mean I'm not Jeremy um LaShawn McCoy and Deshaun Jackson are making of themselves. Deshaun Jackson made himself look like an ass the first year he was with the Redskins. And now Shady is doing the same thing with his salty ass. Being completely bitter was the reason we didn't sign Frank Gore because he was so pissed off he decided to ruin that for us. And now he's coming on with this racist bullshit. Shady, focus on your goddamn career. Leave Chip Kelly alone. Leave the Eagles organization alone. Do you in Buffalo. Stop messing with the Eagles. Let it go. Move on with your life. It's like breaking up with a girlfriend. He's just not letting it go. I'm saying, if he says one more thing about this, it's going to end up being a bigger thing than it should. Yeah, of course, all the all the ignorant black all all the ignorant black people are going to be saying, "Oh, jeez, well, you know, this this and this 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 and this." You know, why are we keeping Riley Cooper suck ass? Um, of course, I don't even know why. I personally, as a white person, I don't give a shit about Riley Cooper. I, I honestly think he shouldn't even play this year. I honestly think he should be cut. That is just me, okay? Seriously. I don't care, okay? Maybe you guys have a point why we have Riley Cooper. But just because we have one white person, one fucking white person, all the black, all the ignorant racist black people in the world are tripping the hell out. Like, you guys need to fuck, you guys need to calm the hell down. This is ignorant, and you guys need to get over this. But anyways, this is Dave Rocks, and uh, you know, tell me what you think about the whole Chip Kelly racism type thing, and 
you know, hopefully I can come back to you guys tomorrow with the the whole draft recap thing. And hopefully this, hopefully this racism thing just doesn't get any further than it has. Well, this is David Rocks, and I'm out.